We are back. These Urban Times Live Hip Hop Daily presents Sideline Stories. NFL Draft was just last week, and now we see pretty much how some things are unshaping for a few franchises with their new young players, young rookies, who will be looking to make a splash for the 2019 NFL season and beyond. Of course, there were a lot of surprises that took place in the first round. And as the NFL Draft took place, of course, Thursday night, Friday, and Saturday, took place in Nashville. Record-setting event. Previous record was 250,000 people or 600,000 people. Ooh, wait till that, next year. That actually What's came it? out to, Vegas. To, to Nashville. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. Vegas. We'll be up there. Yeah, you know it. And it'll be in Vegas next year and whatnot. That'll be cool. Kind of dope to see. As far as the NFL draft is concerned, give me your top five teams as far as teams that came out like a band and, and actually had a good draft, this, this NFL draft. Could be homers. Yeah, yeah. Right, I mean homers. you gonna do that anyway. Yeah, we had a good draft. <laughs> we had a good draft. We uh, Baltimore had a good draft. Who else had a good draft? The Browns actually did decent. They did they had all right. Uh, nobody really. I feel like really did a whole lot of upgrade to a degree. In my opinion, like, they, some people feel needs, but no, I was like, dang, they, they just got bit overnight like this. But I did like what the, unfortunately, I did like what the Patriots did going to get Nikhil, uh, Hair. Yeah, Nikhil Harry. Because now he's probably pulled on Tom Brady's career probably another two years, <laughs> probably. Probably got one of the best receivers in the draft. And, and they drafted up and got, uh, I mean, they traded up and got the boy from Vanderbilt, Juwan Taylor. What you talking about? Patriots? Yeah. Jackson. Jackson, Juwan, Jackson, Taylor, whatever his name. Yeah, him. Williams. Williams, Juwan Williams, that's right. That's what his name is. They had they had a solid draft. The Colts had a solid draft. Yeah. That's probably Yeah. Yeah. Oh no, uh the Jags why you'll get Josh Allen. I like Josh I like Josh Allen going to the Jags. What about what you what are your five teams you thought they had great drafts this year? The Falcons? Uh, me. Um, Washington. I think Washington had a really good. Oh yeah, yeah, Dwayne getting uh, uh, sweat. Yeah, they got the quarterback of the future. They get Montez Sweat, um, Bryce Love. They got him. They got three headed um, monsters in the backfield too. Yeah, they got Kevin uh, Kevin Harmon for NC State. I like him. Uh, quarterback? No, receiver. Receiver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right, I like that's right, him right, too. Yeah. Uh, Ross Pierce back, of course, Homer, Alabama. Uh, <clears throat> add another one. <clears throat> um, but Washington, I would say, Oakland actually had a good draft. I didn't agree with that first pick. They still reached for that first but pick. But I think they had a good draft with uh, getting him. Josh first pick Jacobs. being Cleveland Farrell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cleveland Farrell, I, I didn't agree with that, especially with Josh Allen still on the board. Mm-hmm. But then you went and got Josh Jacobs, of course, Homer. Um, Foster Morrow, Homer. They did, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hunter Renfro. Uh, they got Jonathan Hunter. Abram is, is, the, is the one I think is going to be the Mississippi one. State. Mississippi State, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They got Hunter Renfro? They yeah. did. And they drafted, and they uh, traded up to get him, <laughs> like in the sixth round. And you probably going to be in the seventh round. Exactly. The Patriots, I agree with. Uh, with him. I, the, really, the pick that, that made that, that draft for me, like, oh, damn, was Chase uh, Winovich. From uh, Michigan. Michigan, yeah. yeah so you linebacker. got a yeah, linebacker. you got a pass rusher there. Cause he can play, he can play inside, he can play line, he can play linebacker or outside or, out, or defensive end. Or defensive end. Um, yeah. you get Damian Harris with the next pick, so you got basically your your two running backs for the future. You basically got them locked locked up in the in consecutive drafts. Uh, Jared Stidham, he gonna be backing up Tom Brady. Uh, he didn't get the he didn't get to throw the ball as much at Auburn. But when he was at Baylor his freshman year, mm-hmm. he was a problem before he got hurt. Um, and they also got uh, Byron Col- Coward. He uh, originally went to Auburn, but then got kicked out and ended up going to uh, Maryland. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's I a remember, defensive yeah, tackle. He gonna be, he, he's another one where if he can just stay out of trouble, he's going to be all right. Um, oh, but you got no problem. Uh, you already have probably one chance in, in New England. Yeah. And, and Belichick will get you up out of here. You, you got one chance. Right. Carolina, I like their draft. Now, does that put Cam on a hot seat? No. Will Grill? No. Well, 
with the fans maybe. If he come out here, especially, you know, his 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 attitude, you know what I'm saying? He come out here losing and then go to the press conference while he looking like, you know what I'm saying, a 62-year-old, a.k.a., and <laughs> have an attitude, he, he going to be a problem. <laughs> Did you call him a he do, he do. Come out here looking like <laughs> he look like he come out here like he finna go go see about the girls on campus. Like they ain't about to, they ain't trying to hear that, man. Come on, man. Uh, but no, nah, they get they got uh, Greg Little from uh, from Ole Miss, Ole Miss, Will Greer. So you know, if if for anything you got a quality backup, if can't get hurt. Uh, yeah, Christian Miller out of Alabama. They got one Terry. Well, no, they got two. Uh, no, they got one Terry <laughs> Godwin. And of course, yeah, they got know. Brian Burns in the first round for Florida State. So they don't have one person get drafted. Florida State, <sighs> probably. probably. Yeah. I mean, yeah. that's that's all. They don't they don't yeah, need too many people to yeah. get drafted. I ain't gonna lie one to you. One player get drafted, stink. I mean, oh, I'm sorry. This it's getting old. Players getting old. Yeah, I mean, what the league? I'm about to say, but Minnesota, <laughs> I like the I like that old uh, draft too. Minnesota might have the deepest draft out of out of. They did have they did have a solid draft. Like just looking at it. They, they might have the best draft. They get uh, Dylan Mitchell, the receiver out of Oregon. You get uh, Chris Boyd, the DB out of uh, Texas. He's good. Hey, you, um, you get uh, Cameron Smith out of USC at linebacker. Uh, Irv Smith Jr. out of Alabama. So you got him to go along. Kyle, Kyle Rudolph, who's probably going to be free agent this season. He's going to take You get, up. in my opinion, the best uh, – the best guard in the draft with Drew Samia coming out of Oklahoma, and you also get the best center in the draft. So I think, yeah, you know, I think that they they got the deepest draft. Yeah, yeah. Falcons, fuck, fuck the niggas. <clears throat> who was it? Wait, for who, who was they draft? Was all I knew was those those two. Um, as we he, took as he passed took, out right here. Um, Kendall. Who? We took. What's his name? Nobody important, man. <laughs> Why, why Kendall Sheffield. Know? We took Kendall Who Sheffield out of, out of Ohio. I'm going to tell you now. Like, okay, if oh, you really want to look at it, if you really want to look at okay, Chris Lindstrom, he's going to be good for us, but we reached for him. Caleb McGarry, we did not need to trade our second and third round pick to move up into the first round to get him. Uh, Kendall Sheffield, he's fast, but he routinely got burnt at Ohio State. Uh, John Kaminsky, while they say he's just like a freak athlete in, from D2, uh, he only had three sacks last year. Uh, Quadri Olsen from Pittsburgh, I actually like that pick, you know, especially he's a bigger back. So, you know, that'll help out because we got a whole bunch of little bitty dudes at running back. So, hey. Uh, Jordan Miller from Washington, I actually like that pick because we do need some more uh, corners because it's time to get true up out here too next year. Uh, other dude, Marcus Green, don't know him. So, can't really, you know. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I, I I liked what Oakland did, even though I thought they, they reached. I'm really interested to see what Josh Jacobs does. Now we have an opportunity with the unfortunate injury to Crowell and possibly get a mm. lot of those starter reps. Marsh, I'm like, I'm back now. Um, ah. I was also the Colts. Colts, I, I see what they're trying to do. I was in, yeah. I was impressed with the Colts as well. Yeah. I think they had a pretty pretty deep draft, and this is two years in a row now. So it's showing Minus. us. I didn't agree with Miko. What, was it Miko Harmon they took? Wow. Oh, Miko Harmon went to uh, Miko went to wait, Miko Harmon well, from from Georgia. Yeah. No, he went to. Where did Miko go to? It's one of them picks. I was like, uh, oh no, nah, I lied. I like they whole draft. Damn, I missed them. Paris Campbell gonna be real good. Paris Campbell gonna be real good. Miko went to. Where did Miko go? He went to somebody. Chiefs, I think. Chiefs. Chiefs. He, he went, went to the Chiefs. Chiefs. Yeah, so we said that took care of uh, Tyree Kill. Yeah, he went it's, to the Chiefs. Pretty much the same kind of play almost. He's not as fast as he's not, he's as, fast not as, as fast. And he's not. His hands are not as good. But we'll we'll, we'll see what they do. The Colts had a good draft. They had a great draft. I like what the Browns did a lot. I was very impressed with the Browns draft yeah. and Mac Wilson. Mac Wilson, yeah. Even uh, hopefully you Greedy do Williams deep hmm? net. Yeah, you know. And and, and also in regards to that to both of y'all. I ain't appreciate none of that, okay? I mean, you talk that mean? DBU shit, like... I I'm about to say, you, you talk that DBU, you, you let a nigga from Georgia go in front of you. It was cats from, like, around the way black It was cats from, like, hey, from BYU, 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 BYU,
Always come out there and produce. But he had a, he had a dude from Morris Brown get picked before him, man. Doesn't matter. DeVry? And, he, and think about it, he probably went to the better team out of all of them, so. Maybe. I dig it. I and, dig and it. he's going to start, so. Let me we'll see. see. So Raiders. As long as he keep his hands off people. Raiders, Colts, <laughs> y'all Browns, y'all so like. Patriots, of course, as you, as you as you mentioned, like they just continue. They they get people who you just be like, they damn, know I forgot how, about they him. They know how to work. They have mastered the draft. Like they have. They know how to ma- find. Master- Bill Belichick yep. and his team have mastered the X's and O's and the ins and outs of that draft process. And because I'm telling you, by the end of the night, we was all in the like, damn, the kill here. He is still on the board. I was. I wanted. I thought he was gonna probably go early, middle, early first round. I was like, he's sliding. I would have been mad if we were took him because I, I wanted to get a big back, a big receiver. You need him because your quarterback not there. <clears throat> Shut up. Okay, he can send the plays out. Okay, he, he'll be all right. But, I mean, I'm not mad about Hollywood Brown either. But Nikhil Harry, it's like, pfft. I was like, him, Brady? I mean, Brady can't throw the deep ball, but he was – They got Edelman. Edelman, he kind of – if he, you know what I'm saying, he, he use him as a blocker. Cause he likes he, he big and physical, so you don't have Gronk no more. Still got Dwayne Allen. Yeah, Dwayne Allen, and I think they put them uh, Martavis Ben. I think no, I think he coming back. Again. He came back. Yeah. yeah, again for the twenty fifth time they, he come back. They, they he, he yeah. the Ben brothers. No, they got the ball Jenkins, Safari and Jenkins. Oh, oh yeah, Safari they Jenkins. did get him yeah, and he's, on a one year deal. And he's a, and he's a good blocking running. He's a good blocking tight end. Yeah. So these they fools, gonna be straight. These fools and again mess around and. They done gave him a premier wide receiver. They done mess around and, and but Josh Allen and Josh Gordon may come back if you don't get. That's true. If you but don't for the whole year. But the Patriots track record with receivers, it's drafting them. No, but they they Horrible. like they, but they got a smart receiver. They're gonna they they he gonna be good money. He gonna let's hope. I mean, he did play for uh, Herm. Herm. So he you know, yeah, he, he, used that, he used to he used to at least an uh, NFL like, type culture. And getting Probably. yelled at enough. <laughs> So. He gonna he gonna be good money. One of the biggest surprises, of course, in the draft was the New York Giants picking up Daniel Jones. Who? Boy, they still mad about that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I would be too. That was that was they horrible. Still mad we'll about find it. out if Gettleman is a genius or if he's gonna be in a unemployment <coughs> line, an unemployment line <laughs> in, 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 a, in a little while because of that. Also, something that was a splash to me was Josh Rosen. Now we we understood with the Arizona Cardinals taking Kyler Murray with the, with the number one overall pick. That Josh Rosen was not going to be able to continue to be on Arizona's roster. Let him tell you he was going to make Kyler the backup. I like that. You talk, saw that? I like that talk too. But you know who that sound like? Tate Martell talking about if uh, what's the name from George, Justin Field come up here, he's going to have to be the backup. But then as soon as he transfer, you out to do yeah, you out dope. Well, Josh's case that wasn't really his fault. He had to be up out there. Yeah, I mean, he, they know, but he went to Miami. He went to the Dolphins, and he has the potential to be the best quarterback the Dolphins have had since Dan Marino. Low key, yeah. he's in a better situation. Yeah, he is. He is in a better situation. Not, not a whole lot of pressure on you. The team not gonna really win, but as long as you develop, and as long as you better than Ryan Tannehill. <laughs> that's, that's all you gotta do. You, that's all you gotta do. And that ain't really that hard to do. And they'll believe in your in your in your your potential for at least three, four more years. Yeah, because I was I was seeing some of the day they were talking about uh, the way too early first round, way too early picks. And they year. already talking about, about they're going to pick two. two. Yeah, I was like, I was like, come two. on, bro, don't don't do this. Throwing right. Josh under the bus already. So Especially after you exactly. Game, like, I'm about to, we just did those, that man. <laughs> and then Tom Thomas Shea came out and said, hey, I did not do this draft. <laughs> I'm about to say, come on, don't don't do don't do that to him twice. That's that would be foul. Nah, if they do get that first, that I, think one took, I think they I think they traded for. I think that was a part of the reason they didn't trade for him in the first. Uh, on on night one, they were considering. Do we just tank for Tua and you know rock with Fitzpatrick? Or I think when they traded for Rosen, they they traded for him to be their quarterback for yeah, the same, future. 10, 15 well, years. Yeah, right, yeah. He he had talent. He wasn't bad. That's the thing. Like he wasn't horrible. They just had a terrible. They didn't team. have really much terrible around him. Offensive line. The off, yeah. So like a lot of people were like, he only I think one he, for rookie coach who wasn't an offensive specialist. And right. He, and he didn't get a chance think, to build on his team. Oh, no, I think they that, said. He averaged like six point eight yards per pass attempt. It's not bad. I'm like, well, no, that's pretty bad. That's like one of the worst in the NFL. But, I mean, but who, I mean, I'm saying, I'm saying it's not bad. But look who you throwing to? <laughs> but my, not even who you throwing it to. You don't have time to throw. That's what so not bad. of course you're gonna be th- making short passes and everything like that. You don't. Are you either gonna get killed or you gonna hit this dump off? Which one? 
That's why I said it went bad in this situation. He ain't had nobody to throw to. I mean, so, had no time to throw the ball. He, he, you can't really judge him off his first season. But the good thing is he has that experience. He's lost. He's been beat the hell up. So he, he knows. He died three times and came back. So. Listen, so him going to the Dolphins – you have a little bit better talent around. They still don't really have too many great receivers. The receiver core might be a little bit better. But Parker. That's just a little bit. King Drake. We run the best. Kenny Steele. Yeah, yeah. And your defense is gonna be better. Yeah. So you're in a tough division at the same well, division Not at, really. At, you only got the Patriots. Patriots. You got the Patriots. Cause the Bills, they are all right. Jets might then be the y'all. Jets might be all right. Jets, Jets are all right. But the defense could be they, good. They not in there. You say it's y'all. They not in that division. No, they are. The Dolphins? Dolphins they are. The I'm th- no, you say y'all. So I was just talking about the Ravens. And he was like, oh, oh, no, 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 no. no, 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 no. I'm talking y'all is in them. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, okay. Like, no. you, you know what I'm saying? You got to play yeah, the, the Patriots, the, the Bills. You got to play in the Patriots. You got to play the Patriots, the Bills, and the uh, and the Jets. The Jets. So you can be better than the Jets. You can be better than the Jets, and you can be better than the Bills. On any given night. The so, Patriots are the only ones you really got issues. Y'all both like the, the trade and the pickup of Josh one. Rosen for the Dolphins? I mean, I ain't mad at it. Yeah. I mean, that's the only team that really needed a quarterback, so I'm not one surprised by it. No, there's a lot of teams that needed a quarterback. Man. I mean, unless, it's, that's the one that makes more sense, though. Or unless, unless the Giants would have been smart enough to trade for him, which would have made too much sense in the world. That would have been the best thing. I mean, but, you know, Giants don't do things that make sense. So It's early. We don't know how things will play out. Mm-hmm. Take a deep breath, and I want you to answer me this. Offensive and defensive, who will be potentially the rookies of the year? Me, I'm going to throw out there. I want to say Kyler Murray just because he's going to have the ball in his hands a lot out there in Arizona. But I really – Josh Jacobs, for some reason, since he was drafted, is just like I think he's going to be special. I think that, that boy, can't, I think special. that can be special in the NFL. So, And then on the defensive side of the ball – I'm gonna have to. I might. I might have to go in Miami and say Christian. Uh, Wilkins. Yeah, I might have to go to Miami and say Christian Wilkins. Might have to throw the, I, I, I want to see my man DeAndre Baker, but he went to the Giants, so I can't throw him out there. <clears throat> I go. I, I think. I know. I'll go defensive. Who you going defensive? Devin. I was thinking that. Devin. Okay, Devin White out there in Tampa Bay. It doesn't. He's going to start off off real. He's he going he to have at least 100. He's going to have 100. He's going to have up in the building. With we done talking about the Patriots. Yeah, we done talking about the Patriots. We done talking about the Patriots already. Okay. Uh, yeah, he's, he's going to have 100 tackles. And he'll get you some picks. What up, what up, what up? What up, though? Uh, Offensive-wise, that's, mm, that's going to be hard. I won't be mad about Josh Jacobs. I like Josh Jacobs. Oh, uh, dang! Stop. This is this is really like a defensive draft. This draft, yeah, it, it was. That's why I say it's not. That's why I keep thinking to me offensive players off the top of my head. You throw Kyler out there if you want to, man. It ain't too many offensive ones it that's gonna have the opportunity. Yeah, opportunity. Because like play. last year, you like Saquon, you had that as an opportunity. You had the quarterbacks that went, but it's like uh, you really have. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was like, who, who you looking for? Why you thinking the offense? Who you like? Who you like? Offensive, offensive, defense. Who y'all see for offensive and defensive rookies of the year football early? Y'all let us know. Um, hmm. you ain't got to stick to this. You ain't got to stick this early. Like I say, it's early. I'll go Devin. I'll go Devin off off rip for defense because I think he's he's gonna be a monster, especially playing in this division. He's gonna be playing in. He's gonna be a monster, and, and he playing in division. He got the quarterbacks. He had to get to the ball. Drew, they don't move. Drew, Matt, don't move. And he's a monster. And Cam is, Cam is Cam. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, oh my God, you know offensive, what? Offensive, I'm, I really I'm gonna go Dwayne Haskins. I was thinking okay. Dwayne Haskins okay. too. I'm gonna go Dwayne Haskins. I was, offensive. Dwayne Haskins. Who you got defensive? I'm not mad about Quentin Williams. Quentin Williams, New York Jets. Haskins, Washington Redskins. I'm Williams, not, New York Jets. I'm not mad about Dwayne Haskins. Are you joining the party with Haskins? I like, I like Dwayne, and and he got he got uh, Joe Thousman stamp of approval with yeah, number seven. Yeah, he can wear that number seven. With number seven, Joe Thousman gave him stamp of approval. 
So yeah, if that's Mr. Broke Ledge, give you a step of approval. <laughs> hey man, you I mean, cause cause Alex Smith is hurt, so you ain't got to be him out. And, and Case uh, Keenum, goes to Case Keenum, it's Case Keenum. It's Case Keenum. He's <laughs> he's 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 gonna be a, he's gonna be the backup. Yeah, they may start Case Keenum out, out front first four games, but. First. We know where, we know how that storybook is going. We've seen, yeah. we <laughs> we seen, seen it before. We've seen it before. <laughs> Many times. Just look, look last year happened to Baltimore. He did. Soon jump like he started out. Soon he got hurt. Mm. You see what happened? He got pushed up out of here. Last night, Drake made history. Drake made history last night. Had a whole, all the awards. All trophies. The, yeah, trophies. They don't make no awards for that. You know what I'm saying? Shit don't uh, come with trophies. He's now. Boy had a whole case. Yeah, nobody, nobody has more Billboard Music Awards than Drake. No artist ever and we're not. We like, know about Drake's greatness. I mean, like, you know, people, regardless if folks look at him as a singer, as a rapper, R&B star, well, as an actor, it. whatever the hell you want to call him, his, his entertainment, his body of work is damn near unmatched or whatnot. When you think of Drake, you think of the likes of the Beyonce's, you think of the likes of the Michael Jackson's, of course, Jay-Z, like the, the greatest entertainers of all time. Uh, and it's even funny as we, you know, we sit here, we combine the worlds of sports and entertainment. And what do we see as we're watching the basketball games? We see Drake, at, you know, on the sidelines. Cause the to lose. And, 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 and get, get people going. mad at Get him. people mad. Get people to jump forward to the Raptors. What do y'all rank Drake all time as, as greatest in, in the realm of being a great entertainer? Where you got where you got Drake rated? Is he in the top five? Is is he in the top three? Entertainer? Uh huh. Is he number one? Like like just like music artist? Entertainer, period. I mean, entertainer. Because entertaining is is is. I mean, because I've been to a Drake show. I've been to a Beyonce show. I've been to Travis Scott. I've seen Crit. I've seen I've many seen people. Hove. Uh, yeah, listen. The whole show is, if you ain't never been to one, you know, it's, it's different. It's, 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 it's different. It's different. If you, been if you ain't been to a, if you ain't been to On The Run, On The Run 2. Well, I ain't run nowhere, so I ain't never been. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, quick flex. <clears throat> yeah. So, you know, it, when it's all Hove and Beyonce in Nice, France, you uh, know, and. Uh, humble break, humble break. You know, it's, it was just, it was, it was, it was. Magnificent! It was it what was about amazing. Drake, nigga. What is, what is Drake? <laughs> Listen, his, his his I know. I don't. I don't. Went, I don't <laughs> know the whole thing. French talking about Drake. You right? My bad. My bad. Don't you know, Drake like French women, so you know. he does. He does. But uh, <laughs> he's in, in just terms of entertaining. He he's top top ten. He's top ten. Oh, top maybe ten. top five. Maybe top five. Of all, of all time, of all generation. time, that's rough. Ooh, that's that's all, hard of all time. I'm about to say, if you want to say his generation, he he, he top generation, two. Yeah. He top, top two top generation. Him and Beyonce. Yeah, I go Chris, I go Chris Brown too. Definitely. Yeah, but Chris Brown catalog isn't the same as Drake's. Like Chris Brown got hits. Yes, <laughs> he got hits and he got hits. Yeah, ha ha, ha ha. I mean, that's a stain on us. You that's know, his, you know, I tell you, but light skin on light skin crime. But I tell you, I mean, uh, Chris, Chris Brown, man, in, in, in my in my previous life, we could have ran ran the town together and collected them. You know what I'm saying? In my previous I, life, I, I don't want you to watch the this. I'm about to say I didn't. I ain't got nothing. Uh, to do that. Um, yeah, <laughs> she know in my previous life I was. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it's he was a young man. Hold on, I'm a young. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Leon Phelps Jr. Jr. Beyonce, <laughs> Beyonce, Hove. <laughs> Honestly, if we just talking entertainers, because I'm just thinking about concerts. Is that what you mean? Or you talk about like no, everything? I'm about to say everything. like everything. Make you okay, cry, well, make you smile, make you cry. Make your lady want to drop a panties, you know what I'm saying? Make your homies want to shoot somebody up, like entertainer. Uh, <laughs> well, B, Hove, um, the Carters just put them together. Oh, uh, you want? Okay, we'll make them this one. The Carters put them one. We'll make them one. <laughs> um, Travis Scott. Straight I think up. Drake might be a better entertainer than Jay Z, though. Hmm. Mm. Yep. 
Yeah, yeah, I mean, all better, around better businessman, all better around he's, lyricist, he's, he's, all he's around not, he's, 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 yeah. Like yeah. Drake's an actor, Hove ain't no actor. Like we, ain't, nah, he, he, he ain't got an actor. He got streets just watching. I dig it, but we ain't. We ain't worried about that. Like you like, ain't said about that, that awesome performance in, in Pay the Fool. Not, not oh, Pay the Fool. I mean, you ain't said awesome performance Listen, in that. We ain't gonna talk about that. Yeah. But <laughs> no, it's in a uh, state probably you see that Oscar performance in that. No, Jay wasn't doing that. Man, that was a Oscar nominated 10 seconds of <laughs> 10 seconds of performance that Jason had. Drake top three ever, man. Ever? Prince? Mike? Mike B? Mike B? James? It's a James. James Brown? Yes. Yeah, yeah I think Drake better than Chris Brown, too. I mean, the. Mm. Mm. I think you better than Chris mm. Brown, too. It's, it's, Drake better than Chris Brown. I'm not talking about dance. I'm talking about like Drake show is lit off the off the music. Like he's he's not. I ain't gonna go for like you know, like Future is a trash performer. Like, but his music can go. What's the music? Drake. Me. Drake the only I've entertain, seen him Drake the only entertainer twice. ever. That's I've seen him twice. every field. Drake, the only entertainment ever that's in all your, all your major fields. He's in sports with the Raptors. We don't see nobody. Beyonce, she'll go to a Houston Rockets game. You know what I'm saying? Like, Prince would go to the Minnesota Timberwolves. When he Hove was had here. ownership, one for one. Hove had ownership. He had. He sold it. He, he had. That was really. Yeah, and that's and, a business and, deal, and, but. And, 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 and as much as I mess with Jay-Z, the older I get and the more I learn about the understanding of how that business plan works. It was really like he got paid to be the face. Yeah, that's he was, really, the, face. He was the face. Like I, I thought he had a lot more behind the intricate oh, nah, plot and the pen. And then, like, no. They were like, "We'll give you, you part of this if you just, you know." Drake in the fashion world. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Drake's in the movie world. Drake's in that acting, entertain, entertainment world, and we're not Drake everywhere. And we don't have nobody else. You know what I'm saying? That has like. Chris Brown's Brown definitely a better performer. And he ain't beat nobody up. Because he's soft. I mean, regardless. End of story. Say what? Chris Brown can dance, Drake can't. End of story. No, Drake can't dance. That's for sure. Now, if you ask me who yeah, I'd rather go see, yeah, I'd rather go see Chris Brown. Just entertainment wise, though, you're definitely going to get well, way more entertained watching Chris Brown. Than but you know, I'm, but not, I don't like to see niggas dance. Like that don't. But so, so I, if we just talking, y'all tripping. Y'all, I don't, 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 don't want to see my man. I'm like Michael Jackson. I don't mind. Who said Michael Jackson? Michael Jackson dance. I don't mind. I don't want to. So I, if I, we just talking performers, <laughs> yeah. But if we go off that. catalog now, it's a little bit different story. Catalog, I don't want to hear a lot of Chris Brown music over Drake. Like the Chris Brown music started to sound I mean, all the same. Me. We all different. We all different. We, you know what I'm saying, I'm not right. I'm right. Like now, Drake ain't Drake ain't no but top five. To. When we say entertainment, we got it. No, but but when you ride, when we riding down the street. And it's a, it's a gang, like if it's all of us in our cars, we more prone to hear Drake than Drake. pull up and I'm like, yo, I'm begging this new Chris Brown as I pull up on y'all at the court. Oh, no. Nah. Like, <laughs> if we pick it up the two, no. For entertainment purposes, I'm going where all the women going to go. Even though they're going to mess with Drake too, but they're going to mess with Chris Brown even more. So I'm going with that. I don't know. Yeah, I don't, I don't I know. know. Women, some I know. women. So, it depends. It depends. No, it depends on what type of woman though. Because if, if the women in the club gonna go with Chris Brown, the women that's in Spelman, they ain't going with Chris Brown because they think he beating chicks up. Like you know what I'm saying, like the educated chicks ain't going with Chris Brown. The hood rat ratchet chicks is going with Chris Brown. Like pretty good, pretty girls love trap. Music. I do say that the pretty girls love trap. So they like they like they trap music. They like you. No. <laughs> 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 Information we do not support that women get beat up in all these urban times. No, no, we all about that's some Miami love, shit. Peace, peace, love. Love. peace and love, we do not peace and blessings, peace, peace and, and blessings. blessings, peace and blessings. We do not endorse that. We do not endorse that. Me too. We do not endorse so, that. is it in y'all opinion? We, we got Groovy Lou and, and Izzy for the win who have joined them. Make sure y'all follow them. Do y'all got Chris Brown top five? Yeah, I think Chris Brown top five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Chris Brown Top five entertainers all top time. Top five, yeah, top five, yeah. top five. You said top three. Like you said, it's on top five. You said top, top three was real disrespectful to me because you're not gonna do that to Prince, Mike, and Beyonce, five, and James. Yeah, but James and the boys. That's not order together right now. That's, you're not gonna do that to Mike, Prince, and then whoever. I'm the top seven. Okay, you got not gonna do that. Mike, Prince, James, Beyonce. 
Then we can talk about I Drake. Mean, in my opinion, though, no, I, I got Mike and Beyonce over Drake and whatnot, but I don't have uh, Prince over Drake. Purple Rain. You don't have Michael Jackson. As 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 a, as a as a musician, I got Drake, but as an over as an entertainer. Hold on, you, hold on. You, you said you got who and what over 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 yeah, Drake? Mike, and Mike, Mike, Mike and Beyonce. Beyonce. You got Mike and Beyonce. Oh, I'm yeah. sure Jay Z. How did he even get it? So, no, so, so, so the Godfather of Soul, <laughs> the man who all saw all this, and <laughs> but not even that. Like I and Brown. Prince, these these motherfuckers can stop singing, and people go even even crazier. Yes and no, but no, not no. Drake, you talk Drake is hot. Drake is Drake is dope because of his music. Like this, we're not gonna talk. We like Drake. Drake is dope because we all know his song. Beyonce, Jay, these other people that we talking about, like they entertain you in so many different ways. Like their show is a show. Like it's like a it's like a a show. This is, this is how we end this conversation about whether or not Drake is the best entertainer. If we turn off the beat, what are you doing to entertain me? You know what I'm saying? Like it's with true. with all these other people, they gonna give us because people because people still retweeting but, that damn Chris see, Brown see, flip what, video. But I think I think like entertaining. I'm not just like I said. I'm not just talking about music. You know what I'm saying? Y'all keep it's it's more facets of entertainment. But I feel I understand what you're saying about like him being. But just because you show your face at a game or you, that don't mean you're an entertainer. Like that don't mean you're entertaining me because you showed up at the basketball game really or you wearing but, some but no, clothes. Not, you might be you might be top three uh, culture. You know, part of the cultures of all time or something like that but entertainment is let me grab some popcorn let me grab you know and I, you're gonna get on the no, stage that's not true that's not true no no or you're gonna entertainment comes in many forms and fashion i'm entertained when i'm busting a nut that's a form of entertainment but you're also but those but those if you're talking about that your entertainment is coming from the way you're looking at her the sounds you're hearing it's still, all of that is the that's what's entertaining though. you though but it's your senses that are being entertained it's not it's still somebody arousing them senses you know yeah but i'm saying like you're looking I mean, at it though it can be sports it can be anything. It can be music like, it can be when you eat it can't be anything yo it, can't be anything. You're entertaining your taste buds. You know what I'm saying? Like the food got it. You know what I mean? It's, I don't think it can be just anything. Like, like Chef Gordon Ramsay, would you call him an entertainer? Yeah, he's an entertainer. Okay, well. I feel like it's your whatever your craft is. You're an entertainer. If you're doing something that pleases someone, I'm not, that's an I wasn't, entertainers. Strippers are we, entertainers. We, we are yeah, entertainers. To, to entertainers. an extent, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, to, an ex- to, to an extent. People, look, people, yeah, I mean, people, people tell me they entertain when they watch. But I'm saying like that. And that's why I say that's, that's why I say Drake. Drake, like he entertains so, folks in the sneaker realm with the OVO Jordans and shit. But it's, like, it's Jordans though. I'm not buying those Jordans because it's Drake's. But some people you will. But, but a some lot people of will. A lot of people, some people will. will. But you also have some people who buy this shoe. Some of the biggest crazies though. It's 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 because it's the OVO Jordan. You know what I'm saying like Jordans sell. But not like the OVO jewelry, you know what I'm saying? This, it's like the This outweighs everything. Chris Brown can dance like Michael Jackson and Drake can't. End of story. I dig that. But well, that's it? one aspect. That's the whole like, aspect. I'm not putting Chris Brown oh, as a better entertainer than, if, than if Drake. Music cut out or Chris, or Chris Brown, but that's, still can entertain That's us. just the but show. But that's not everybody. Everybody, like, we just, we, it's, all right, let me see. What well, Chris it? Brown acts. It's six cats in here, right? It's six, it's six, it's six cats Drake in the studio right Drake, now. Part right Drake now. has no movies. Bigger Drake acting, acts. But he has had yeah. bigger acting roles than Drake. But he, he acts, though. Takers. He was, he was acting before Chris Brown. Take a, take, the Taker role was bigger than we any knew, Drake role. No, we, it wasn't. The, the one Taker, that Chris Brown Taker played? wasn't better, bigger than Degrassi on Nickelodeon. Like, let's not get crazy now. Wait, like, wait, 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 wait. Okay, Takers okay. was a hood nigga film. That okay, but that, that role was, was better than what Drake played. And, and don't forget okay, about Stomp right, the Yard. Don't forget about Stomp the Yard either. It was more relatable. It wasn't better. Don't forget about Stomp the Yard. Also, too. He was in this Christmas. Christmas was hard. The acapella, the acapella performance on this Christmas was hard. was the... Well, for a brief second, he was in what? Think like a man. Stump, stump the yard. Right stump the yard. Don't forget about stump the yard. I, I ain't seen was, that. You ain't seen stump the yard? Yeah, he was. Oh, you stump the yard. He was a problem. Yeah, he was it was, a problem he had, it was another yard. dance movie he was into. That shit was it. Yeah, he, you got to see yeah, that for the hood. You got to see that. You ain't see that? Now, if we're talking in the culture, Chris Brown is is definitely. His his roles are. I seen Drumline. I ain't seen Stomp the Yard. Stomp the Yard. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. I seen uh, Say the Last Dance. It was. Uh, you can delete those other two. Yeah. And Stomp the Yard. Yeah. Cause ain't nobody stopping. Stomp the Yard. Make me go back to make me go go to HG. HG you killed it in that. That is true. Shout out to Miles College. Yeah. So I'll, I'll shout out Clapham. See you. 
Um, I'm not putting Drake in my top five. I actually changed my answer. I'm not putting Drake in my top five. I'm putting him in my top ten. He's in my top ten I'm because I don't know if he's five for me. Yeah, five. Because I'm not putting him over James Brown. Who? I'm not putting. I'm not putting him over Beyonce. I'm not putting him over Prince. I'm not putting him over Mike. Exactly. Mike got beat to success. I'm not putting nobody over Mike. I might put him over Chris Brown. Mike just got he beat got, to success, boy. Just because. Honestly, if we just talking entertaining, Chris Brown, I can forget Chris Brown like. Crazy. I could like after after age after age. That's like forgetting Kobe. Yeah, after after not, no, I mean, it's no, not I after age the, like twenty to the music game. He's like, Kobe. Chris Brown music no, has been the same not. shit. Ah, dog, you are tripping. He's okay. Kobe. Chris Brown is Kobe to the music he, game. He's, he's, high. High. he's Kobe. He he to the pop R and B, he's Kobe. He's Kobe. I'm not Stop saying it. he's not talented. He's Kobe, but he ain't Kobe. Michael Jordan. No, Michael Jack. Michael Chris Jackson Brown, is Jordan, Chris and Brown he's Kobe. Been, could, Chris no, no, Brown could have been Kobe. Chris Usher. Brown passed Usher, so he passed yeah, Usher. Passed Usher. Yeah. He passed Usher. The nigga oh, can. Gosh. Yes, definitely. The nigga can. Oh, Chris flip. Brown ain't the got a body work better than Confessions. The nigga so can do a cartwheel. Don't add me. The nigga. Yo, the nigga can sing and do a cartwheel on stage at the same time. But he might be talented. I respect that. Barely, though. But I'm like, yeah, I don't have that. That's entertainment. Chris Brown ain't got no project better than better than Confessions. Like, we ain't even gonna say that. Chris Brown ain't got no classic album. He do got a classic album though. That's a lie, bro. He got a few classic albums. What's the Chris Brown classic? Exactly. Name it. Listen, name it. I like exclusive. I'm not saying I like the X John. The X John. Uh, that, 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 that album was hard, Confusing but it ain't better than Confessions. I didn't say it was. I don't think that's. Uh, first of all, that's not. Let's not compare. You, can't, you really can't. You really can't compare Confessions. Listen, Chris Brown. Chris Brown's best album is eighty-seven. Chris Brown best album is as good as eighty-seven oh one. But when they went to go do the tribute to Michael Jackson, number one, Michael Jordan, they went and got Chris Brown and not Usher. That's fine. Usher, cool. I like that's, Usher, but I'm just stop, saying stop, Chris Brown definitely stop, done. Stop, First of all, he, yeah, let, me, yeah. hold on, let me ask y'all this. Let me ask hold you on. real quick. Real quick. The let niggas me, who wear Kobe's. Let me just hey. ask this. Let me ask this real quick. Let me ask this real quick. Cause we talking a lot of Chris Brown is this Kobe shit, right? Oh, Lord, but if R. Kelly wasn't supposedly locking chicks up, would we be really like it? Yes. Our Chris Brown, Chris yes. Brown body yes. of work is better than R. Kelly. No, 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 no. Body of work, no. The body of work. We just had the R. Kelly don't entertain. R. Kelly was having motherfucking orgies at his concerts, guys. It's babies in this world because R. Kelly is. R. Kelly's what? Like, like, like. Like R. Kelly influenced like Chris Brown's face songs. Like he did. You know he up there. He, That's, up there. he R. Kelly like. But we talking about he is kills. I mean, when we talk about Usher versus what's name, Usher, um, Chris Brown can sing. You know. I would say he could sing better. Um, Usher, you know, his voice developed as he got older. You know what I'm saying? Listen, but the so did Chris Brown. That wrote his songs, wrote, wrote better songs for Usher than Chris Brown has had. And he could say no. He's better and perform better. Yeah, he could say no. Oh, yeah, no. R. Kelly. Yeah, R. Kelly. Yeah, R. Kelly. Yeah, yeah. 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 I'm about to say, I'm about to say one, two, and three. Yeah, one, two, All and three. TV. I put him to JC. Chocolate Factory. Factory. They just sat, stand there and do their music. They don't be doing nothing. That be them women putting on their own like, show. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What you say? At R. Kelly concert. He oh, I, thought, I don't know why I said, song. I thought he said something about Jay-Z. I think like, like, you don't do this. No, it be, it be, it be the women. That's, that's, that's fact. Drake, now, okay, listen. I'm sorry. And, but Drake is. Better than Chris Brown as an entertainer. Yeah, bro, I just think that's 2019. I, I think that answer is it's 2019. Drake is more relevant, and so you're gonna, you know, you're gonna definitely so put him above. Brown. But when it comes you, to entertainment, you, you, bro, you can you can take Run It, Chris Brown, and yeah, and like, and Jake, Chris Brown is better at R&B. Drake is better at rap. Drake, but Chris R&B, Brown can't rap. Though. Chris rap. Yeah, Chris can rap. But Chris can't rap too. So we're gonna compare them. So we're gonna compare them into the genre that that, that Chris Brown he did. He tried rap, but. We're going to compare them to the R&B. Chris Brown is better. Oh, let's just say it's a better fight. Okay. I'm sorry. I ain't mad at that. I ain't mad at that. We, we going we, we gonna to keep that going. Also, in our world of hip-hop and urban culture this 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 week, it was sad because we lost a pioneer in the film industry and John LA, Singleton. LA is losing bad out here. Boy. Yeah, it, 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 it has been a tough year. Of course, the loss of Nipsey Hussle, then John Singleton now. I mean, I could get into all the legal shit, what's going on with his family, X, Y, and Z. We're going to talk about the body of work that he's left behind and just the oh, standards a, that, you know, he set like. He put rappers in movies. 
Not even put rappers. John Singleton is a He put our culture. John Singleton is a whole BET weekend. Weekend, that ain't a BET month. Like, like, cause they gonna think, play, they gonna play Baby Boy at least six I, times a day. I hope, I hope, I hope Free Ray Ricky get over his, his, his quarrel. Best, best movie. He gave him a shout out. He gave him a shout out. He, he posted a pic of them to him. Was like, you know, thank you for everything you've done we'll do for our culture. Free, Free Ray Ricky Ross and whatnot. He gave him, a, he gave him a dope shout out and whatnot on uh, on IG. He said, "What's he said? What's John Singleton's best movie? Best movie is mm. probably Boys in the Hood, man." It's yeah, probably yeah. Boys in the Hood, just because of... Boys, yeah. Yeah, High Learning. Yeah, High Learning was, high learning was dope. High learning. But, but, but Boys, boys in the Hood, hood is, is... Oh, Baby Boy? He didn't nah. Nah. Right. nah. Yeah, he did. Boy was it? Yeah. 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 yeah, he did. Boys, boys in the Hood is cultural. Yeah, it's iconic. Everybody know Boys in the Hood. It's one of them cult classics. Everybody know who Ricky is. Yeah, like... Cause I swear to God, every time I watch the movie, I be like, my nigga, just zigzag, just bro, zigzag. just zigzag. Yeah, like, 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 like when when it was filmed, and the gangster it. rap shit, and how you put Ice Cube in yeah. there, like that, that John, like he had, yeah, he, he got, got, curls, he got, got shot Cube with a gauge. Junior. It's so many iconic just moments, moments in that movie. Yeah, like, I Lawrence, Lawrence Fishburne, Lawrence Fishburne, uh, Cube telling that bitch, bitch, shut up. Nia Long, Nia Long, Regina King in the movie, Regina King in the movie. You got uh 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 Angela Cuba Bassett. Gooden Jr. swinging through the swinging in the swinging air. Yeah, Angela Bassett playing Trey Wong. Angela Bassett, Bassett. Ricky, like yeah. Ricky, Rick, Morris Rick, Chestnut. Rick, I say, <laughs> Morris Chestnut. Morris Chestnut been a hundred years old since. So he That's that black don't crack. He been with, know, he been he been with his lady like twenty five years. I know, she still look young and whatnot. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, this bro, bro has been old. My whole brother life. gonna have a bald head and a goatee forever, and it ain't never gonna be gray. It never gonna be gray. Jack in the Box was all like. Legendary it's every, uh, ever since that movie ended. Hey, man. Jack in the Box. Yeah. I mean, I, I won't, so if we had to rank him, because he do have a lot of movies. He liked the... the, the Jordan, Jordan of the Culture. No, nah, I wasn't going to say that. He is. He no. is the... Black Steven Spielberg. Yeah. Yep. Nah, I'll get that No, nah, that's about to say that's right. I'll get that spike, for sure. He could be... But he up there. They like... They like... They like... They want to be... Yeah, they so like he like who who is the Star Wars guy? What's the Star Wars guy name? John, George uh, Lucas. George Lucas. Yeah, that's that scene. He like George Lucas. Lucas but you know, yeah, but George Lucas only made one movie though. Quentin that's Tarantino. There it is. Cause he I gave, like that. He did Quentin Tarantino with a hood. Cause he gave you the violent, yeah. rougher. Yeah. Yeah. He gave you the real. Spike Lee made you think. You know what I'm saying? I got some nice movies. And stuff. Yeah, I got John I got Singleton it. gave you the real shit. Shoot him up, bang bang. I don't know what's going on. 2019. It's a fucked up year. But uh, I met that guy at. Uh, the uh, of course you did. The premiere at uh, Snowfall premiere, dude was real cool, man. It was just like crazy to hear that he passed away. Like that. life is getting to, like we we're we're all getting older. We living in wicked man, times and listen, whatnot. Man, I, I done started checking my blood pressure and stuff. We, look, we look, living look, in wicked times. Old hits me next month. Oh, you ain't gonna feel it that day. Don't worry about it. Yeah, but, but many many of our urban classics, as we just mentioned, Four Boys Brothers. in the Hood, Four oh, Brothers, too fast, Higher too Learning, Too Damn, Fast, Too Furious, Damn, Four Brothers. we just mentioned Snowfall, the series that was uh, recently yeah. on Netflix. Uh, what else? John doing? Singleton, he, he the, Baby uh, Boy, Baby, Baby Boy. boy. That's why we do Tupac. When Tupac got killed before the movie. Who did? I think he did. Uh, in society, society, right? right? Poor Justice. No, nah, I don't think no, he, he did. He did Poor Justice. No, I think I think, so. I think F. Gary Gray did that. I think no, 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 no. Hughes brothers, Hughes brothers, that's what did it. Yeah, because uh, they wanted pocket and, and pocket wasn't with it. That's rough. Yeah, rest in peace to John Singleton. May his legacy live on. Of course, his films will live on. We'll keep we'll keep watching them out here. BT ain't gonna let them lie. Uh, they are playing it right now. Big boy's on right now. Some history took place in the Big Apple hey. earlier. Jay Z, B side concert. Oh man, I wish I could have been there for this. Man, I was I flew out there last night. Yep. Oh. It was amazing to me because we got to see Jay Z and Cameron. That's Dipset and Nas. After him and Nas, we seen him and Nas. Yeah, but and, and, they made up. Jimmy? But after all that, him and Cam though was like after ah. after all that he took Dipset through. You know what I'm saying with the whole thing or whatever. It was good to see or whatever. I know Cameron personally or whatever. So to what see him post, to see him do. post that guy like that, I was just like, do. God, this should should have been happened. It should have been happened. It was it was it was legendary. Jay Z finally grew up. Who don't you know, bro? You know no, I know. respect J Point. When it was, go- I was a big Cam fan when it was going down. But it was my, me and my homies got a company. 
and I'm on vacation and you just signing your homies, I'm gonna be looking funny too. Like, oh, that's what we do now. But, but he, you know, really he got a record. He got a. He got to still see the talent. Like, okay. Oh no, I dig that. It's Come talent. On, these man. boys we, hot. We gotta talk. We partners. We gotta be on this. You know what I'm saying. So it was a whole. That they just that was the the demise of the rock. Like, and then that whole swagger jacket that. thing kind of like. Sold it for sold it for that long too, cause that swagger jacket, that shit was like. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh. I have to be honest, I really, I really don't remember. I remember, but I don't remember where it really happened in that situation. So, it's Mr. Music expert, go ahead to break it down right. No, through. I mean we're not gonna talk about the bad shit. I just said they wasn't. Jay wasn't hype about them getting uh, signed. You know what I'm saying when uh, he got signed. Cause was it, was it Danny trying to make Jimmy? Or not Jimmy, but uh, not signed right. It was on making the president. Like he the was president, the president, but you the signed. You the president. You, you, so you, we, we partners now. You know what I'm saying? You, 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 yeah. you signed. You know what I'm saying? You got a role. It's like, oh, you got a whole role out this motherfucker. Like, <laughs> hold the fuck up. Nah, but that that was, that was great to see. Those were my two favorite artists when I was a young boy, Cam and, and Jay Z, and the whole show. Now, it had, nothing's been confirmed, but it's a whole lot of things making me believe it's going to be on Netflix. You know what I'm saying they had I the did. Netflix fridge in there and whatnot. It wasn't on title. We know Jay Z puts everything. Uh, he man, does. I was, I was, I was, so I I was like, I was like, all right, no, J- B side, B side. It started giving me a playlist. It's B side. I was like, that ain't what I want. Yeah, and nah, they ain't. Shout, shout, out, shout out the whole for the for the freestyle for Nip. Oh, that Nip freestyle. Was and it so was, it, it, it wasn't even just Nip. It was just about like black people. I remember, man. It's so funny. Like I remember a time. This is maybe about two, three years ago. No, actually, it's been long. It's about, about, about three, four years ago. When every morning, I used to kind of give some words of advice about why black people can have our own, you know what I'm saying? Or why we should be our own bosses. And folks used to ridicule the shit out of me. Oh, no. You you down in people who got to go to work. And we, you know, as black people, and we got to. And it ain't even that you down in you, people. You remember that? Remember? Work. Folks used to. You Yo, I remember that time, bro. I Folks remember used to go that off people used me. to be like, the same thing you just said about people down to people that go to work, like, oh, like. And real lie. shit, like, I'm not Nipsey. I ain't Nipsey, but I thought about this when Nipsey died. Like, it, it was just funny to me, like, damn, I remember a time when I be telling black people, like, we kings, we queens, you know what I'm saying? Like, we need to understand who we are. And niggas was telling me, shut the fuck up, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, for real, like, cats telling me, like, nah, you, you need to I'm shut the fuck up. People don't want to escape that. You know what I'm saying? It's, 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 it's conditioning. Uh, and. Um, actually, you know what though? That you say that, like, shout out to Jamel here. I was listening to her uh, new podcast on Spotify. Hey man, we need and Jamel on the show. You got, I, you got the plug. Go get on yeah, the show. Yeah, we need Jamel to come yeah, on here. On I got some questions to ask her yeah, when she get on here. I got some questions to ask Jamel when she's home. All right. But nah, shout out to Jamel Hill. I was listening to her uh, new podcast. Uh, Jamel Hill, Jamel Hill is unbothered on Spotify, and. She had uh, Killer Mike on there, and they were talking about the same exact thing. How rap has, it's almost like they've grown up. Like, rap is only like 40-something years old. You know what I'm saying? Like 45. 45, excuse me, old man. So, <laughs> rap is H only was, 45. H was when it first started. Exactly. Rap, H was when it first started. H was out here with a high top fade when it started. So, <laughs> nah, they were talking about how hip-hop, we've grown up. Mm-hmm. So you got people like Jay Z and 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 all these other artists that are talking about gener- generational wealth because they're really the first people who had it like Puff, Jay, people like that. Bird. They're the first, yeah, Birdman. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> so like you got you, that's why you see Jay and and Puff. They're mentoring that generation below them, mm-hmm. and so that's why you see people like Twenty One Savage. Who you know? what I'm saying he he's helping kids start up saving, uh, you know, accounts I don't know and everything Puff like that. Mentoring nobody, but well, I'm gonna get that. Puff, 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 or break that generational curse. Somebody got to make it. Like if if your parents grew up poor, why not you be the one that can be break the mold, break that mold, and your kid right. and start a trend for your kids? Why can't we be like these other races where their kids almost have like a head start? You know what I mean? 
Like black black kids, how many times we joke about black kids, oh, uh, they got the light bill in their name, they only six years old. You know what I'm saying? Like that's you, true because like, it you, does you happen. You still got credit already. You know what I'm like, saying? That shit be happening everywhere though. We you know just, what I'm saying? That shit happening everywhere. It happens in white communities. You're right, you know? but it's not as it's publicized, publicized, and maybe not as prevalent as we would think. And so with these artists like this, they're grown up. They're trying to give us the game to have your own, do your own thing. If you gotta work for somebody, make sure they paying the hell out of you for it. Jay just give it to us differently. And Jay to me, and when Nip was here, it seemed organic. Some of these cats to me, and I ain't gonna throw their names out there because I ain't gonna fuck no relationships up. Some cats would be seeming forced a little bit though, like they not because it's a trend. Oh, it's it's a, it's a exactly, trend. it's not it was, authentic. It's a trend. It's a trend, like, it's a trend to start trying to mentor people to give. Oh, let me wait. Start talking. Yeah, yeah. yeah. like it's not organic. Nip, 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 hove. They give you that, and it's a hit. But if you really look at what they're saying, it's just like, damn, for real, for real. That's why people, I think, like I when think, Nip said, "You, I'm, I'm integrated vertically." Y'all niggas, look, like. If you go and, and I didn't even know what he was talking about when he said that until I looked at one of his interviews and he broke it down. I was like, damn, that's true. Like, he started from the bottom. So he, everything he made, that's his. That's his. I think that's like more, we started, actually people, people started actually paying attention to what certain people started saying, like nip, nip a hole. That's why when the West Free Verse came out, everybody was going so crazy because they think they're actually starting to pay attention. Yeah. Or actually listening. Cause they, that, whole 40, that whole 444 album. Exactly. Let's, let's, the let's be honest. The, whole, the What's Free Out, Jay been saying this for the last three, four, five years. Y'all just y'all just not catching on to the wave, but y'all ain't even paying attention. You ain't just listening to Y'all just want to listen to Beats and, and Bobby Head, but you don't want to sit there and break like down go, what you're Like, listening. go back and listen to Reason of a Doubt. Like, hold yeah, still. He been he, on he, that. He's giving that, you game. That's why it was dope to me. I, I was, I'm like, people missing... People kept saying they like, oh, the Nipsey, the Nipsey, the Nipsey. is like, no, nah. oh, you he Nipsey, Nipsey. It as, as an example, but he talking about financial freedom, like actually Ginger having Vine money. Yeah, hood. like it was, right. he been talking about this shit since Streets is watching. If, 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 I put like this, Nip is kind of like Nip is the new Nip, version of, of whole. Yeah, I, Nip in, in was, a sense of for, yeah, for the younger kids. Yeah, the, Nip Jay Z is like us, even though Nipsey's older than with me and you, and but the new generation. Who follow more nip and us who've been listening forever will follow the hove and they kind of bridge the gap and it kind of get the new kids listen to what nip saying go back and listen to stuff jay-z been saying put all that stuff together make you think outside the box and think you make you start thinking as a, a boss and a, as an entrepreneur instead of being a worker yeah so I absolutely agree. i agree that uh the i just think that the um jay-z's um message was they both had the same exact message i just think that jay-z right. max uh masked his like he didn't really well because it, it wasn't his, a trend then i mean no i just think his lyrics like the way jay-z raps he's more metaphorical and so yeah he wasn't as direct with yeah. how he was saying it like dumbo he talks about it but he don't say this is what i did nip was like Look, it's A B C one two three. <laughs> like, I'm getting straight to the point. Yeah, like yeah. this is what I'm doing with my money. You know, this is how I'm doing it. You know what I mean? Like, and and he make he was making it simplified for people like oh yeah because Jay Z was saying some stuff make you think like what did you need to say? What did you say? <laughs> you gotta go back there and play it three or four times. Oh, oh, that's what he 20. meant. And then niggas come out to you, boom, 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 boom. I think with Jay's is more impressive because it is like that. Like. He can find different ways of saying what he needs to say. And it's just, I ain't gonna say more entertaining, but with Nip, it's just like, yo, this is it. This is what I did. I put money here. Y'all should do this too. You know what else about the, the difference between the two of them? That black people didn't really accept Jay's message. No. Nope. You know what I'm saying? Like, they, 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 they thought no, they thought that Jay-Z was talking about He even about said them. it himself. Black people, a lot of people think that when Jay-Z drop a bar about his money and what he's doing with it, they bragging. think that he's bragging, he's bragging against them. They like, ah, he always, you know what I mean? Like, he, always, oh, he always talking money talk. They, matter of fact, him and Drake, him and Drake got ended up about that. Like, Drake was talking about how he was talking about art. He was like, I'm sorry, Miss Drizzy, about all the art talk. I thought I could actually talk about all the shit I actually got. And I was like, but... 
the actual lines he was saying was like, I bought this for one million, now it's worth two million, right. it's gonna be worth like exactly. he's saying he's investing exactly. in things that are gonna gain exactly. equity. But right? he didn't say that, you know what I mean? Exactly. So, and that's if, why I think people people didn't they wasn't feeling But he you know, said it himself. He was like, I tried rapping like common sense. Then I did yeah, five mil. I ain't rapping like common, common sense. sense. Yep. So it was like he 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 was like, All right, I'm gonna try it. But then it was like, yo, yeah. y'all ain't gonna buy it? Okay. Yeah, I mean he tried. I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna disguise it another way. I'm gonna tell you the same thing. I'm just gonna make it sound dope. And then when you said that, and you rap, you, you rap. Once you from, little, uh, learn the words stuff, you rap. And like, okay, oh, this nigga means this. Oh, well, let me apply what he talking about to my everyday life, and pretty much use what he said to both of them talking about the same thing. Just both of them way. talking about own your own businesses, get your money, invest, get you a beautiful black woman, and chill out. Amen. White big fits. Sneaker World, man. Got the KD 12s coming out. Talk oh, I seen you talk, with the plug, talk, too, talk, on talk, the ground talk, talk, earlier. Talk to me about them things, yeah, I know man. y'all seen them. Talk to me about these sneakers. It's 370 for size 13. PJ Tuck. But Come get them on, before PJ Tucker get them. Shut up, man. No, the KD, uh, the KD 12s. The 90s come out. 90s kids come out this weekend. The green joints. The green joints. They actually are. Now, I saw the EYBO on this past weekend. I was I down there. Them. They actually they do look good in person. Like they actually kind of cold, and they come out with the, uh, the Warriors color waves. Of oh, course, yeah. those, yeah. those, those were slick. I was like, okay. So you see the pictures, like, eh, you ain't really like them. But then you saw, I saw the person, like, okay, I see what Katie doing. They probably light, comfortable on the feet. That's definitely a nice little hoop and shoe. You probably could wear if you want to the gym with some sweatpants and stuff like that. I tie your shoe strings. Yeah, they, 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 I like them. Yeah, I like them as well, man. I like them as well. And speaking to PJ Tucker. Talk to me about what you got with PJ Tucker and these Jordans, the, the Trophy Man, Room 5. Man, them things right there cold. How much he paid you for them? He didn't pay me nothing. Oh, you gave them to him for free? Dang. Dang. This man talking. Man. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. My bad. Hey, man. I wish you did pay me. I don't have the plug with PJ Tucker. I got you. Not yet. Talk about him. What's up with these PJ Tucker? No, man. Uh, Trophy Room did it. They did uh, multiple colors, blue and white, blue and all blue, fives with a little red in them. They can switch them up to the all red fives, kind of Toros a little bit with the blues in them. They cold. I saw, I put them up there today. Uh, the Breakfast Club got theirs. You see, Emmy look like a little kid. He said, oh, we got two pair. So, yeah, man, I was digging them. I'm like, hey, if we, if we can find a way to get them, you know, trophy room, you want to send us a pair, you know, say 13, nine and a half. What size you wear? 12. 12. So, Marcus Jordan, if you want to send us some players, you know, we'll greatly appreciate it. I know it's, I know it's limited, but if you want to send us some players, we'll greatly appreciate you. And talk to me about CC Sabathia and the 3,000 strikeouts. You know. And the special Jordans that came along with that. Hey, man. You know, Jordan did do it big for him. It's a bit Hall of Famer, future Hall of Famer. It's last year, last go around. Go ahead and get, you, go ahead and get all your milestones out now because you ain't going to be doing no more. <laughs> <laughs> go get all, get all your milestones out now. <laughs> so, you know, go get some more strikeouts. We, we take some more to get our, our bats back in the game. So, hey, shut up, man. Hopefully, you know, hopefully get a ring, a ring this season. You know, <laughs> do, he getting married again? No, championship ring is a championship. Another one, 28. He getting traded? No, not getting traded. No, 28. You need to worry about this terrible Braves right now. No, and Braves. Yeah, we ain't talking Listen, about I already told him what Best Bryce record of the table right here, so I ain't really trying to hear nothing. That ain't much, though. Y'all suck. So. No, we don't. Y'all well, do suck. We don't. What Which is sad because y'all got the most talent out of anybody. We have table. 14 people. No, they spend the most money. That's what they even No, know. they spend the they most spend money. We had, oh, man, I'm sorry. We, yeah. Our team is billionaires. I'm sorry. And we have a billion dollar paper. But 14 people on I IR. See what it gets you? They hurt right now. But we still keep, it, keep the head above water. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Touche. 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 Okay. Yeah, but man, hey, shout out to the Talking about the Yankees not being. <laughs> First of all, we look. We are two games out of the first uh, first place, and we had fourteen. All uh, fourteen stars are missing. Mm-hmm. What can y'all say? Oh, y'all we, we fight for first place, so we're two games out, and it's May. That's fine. It's early. Yeah, it's early. What, we played 35, 35 games. Thirty games. I mean, I can easily say we got uh, three pitches out. I mean, I start in line. I mean, I start in uh, rotation. Okay, three pitching and fourteen <coughs> starters and out of IR. Think well, the Braves. you can't clearly don't have fourteen starters out because there's only nine that starts. So. I think well, the Braves fourteen, 14 go to, major players that. Think um, the Braves going to playoffs? Yeah. Yankees are making. 
bitch. What you? What we shall see. We shall see. Yeah. H on that. Oh, I'm gonna say, I'm say oh, H on the putting the water bottle. Not face. But Finally, gentlemen, before we get up, get get ready to get up out of here on Saturday night, Game Three, Warriors, Rockets. Who y'all like? Who you, who you got come out of that one right there? Warriors. Warriors. I agree. Warriors. I'm going straight Warriors. I'm going to Warriors. This is Warriors in three. <laughs> I told you that. <laughs> Rockets got one. Rockets win. I said. I said. I said they'll Warriors in five. They'll pull it out tonight. PJ got the new shoes coming out. Shh. Where my broom? At? <laughs> Rockets. <laughs> Game three. Got to give a lot of love to everybody here, all the shows, everyone that's on the cameras, behind the scenes, making it do what it do. 10K the other day, right, Big H? 10K. 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 Then it's on the, uh, no info to none of us. We could have came to the little special gathering, oh, too. Oh, oh, put a toast in the air. Yeah, we could have put a toast in the air. You know, I bring my toast, so I don't even know why you tripping, but that's fine. Yeah, it just popped well, up. Well, since, since we got 10K followers, H, we need 10K. You already got K's behind your name. Yeah. Hater. Yeah, tell, I need all them. We need all the followers. <laughs> yeah, he already got K's behind his name. Them. We trying but, to get up there. Yo, hey, wait, hey, man. man. K. Hey, also, shout out to Arya Stark for holding it down on Game of Thrones this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, like, she was like trending, trending for real. Like, oh, hey, hey, man, memes for her, George Switch. Yeah, I seen them, George. I don't, oh, I don't I'm watch getting the shirt. I ain't going to watch you. Listen, as a as an avid what you see the shirt as an avid watcher of Game of Thrones, that was that was a that was a lit episode. Let me, let me yeah. just say one. Y'all got y'all coat. Let me just say one. Let me just say one thing. You know, um, you know her too. No, I don't know her. I don't know her, but I know the one, the Messiah, is going for his seventh title this year. Oh, oh, is it six? Or, so no, tell him what no, you can like follow, Jordan, they can follow you. His seventh <laughs> title this year, whatever. Talking about that gonna make him better than Jordan, right? I mean, oh, okay. I'm mean, no, referring no, to Tom Brady right but now. Yeah, I, I, the one, the one. Oh, he he know his name. Yeah. The one. So where can they follow you at? Okay, <laughs> <laughs> Cause who said? Who came about the Messiah? Exactly. I'm, I'm thinking. He, I'm thinking. We've been talking about the show. I'm like, nah. <laughs> Wait, I thought Jesus about to come. Oh, Jesus Christ. The Messiah. Messiah. Don't worry about <laughs> it. You know something. Give me a sec. It's September. You get a chance to see him. Don't worry about it. Said the Messiah is coming again. Well, we gonna let him start with you, Gwen. Don't let our audience know where they can check you out on social media. Tom man. Brady Group. Jr. Yep. <laughs> Tom Brady 12. Robert Kraft. Hold your head. Um, Groovy Lou. <laughs> Groovy Lou Jr. on Instagram. That's it. That's Robert Kraft, hold your head. B. Diddy, where can they check you out at? This fool said, Robert Kraft, hold your head. Jesus Christ. Uh, what be? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Kings Kicks ATL. Yeah, Kings, Kings Kicks. This boy that messed me up saying that. Uh, Kings Kicks ATL. K I N G K I C K Z A T L. Also, CEO Trish, C E O T R I C H E. Baby, all your sneaker news. Follow me. I ain't even gonna say it because you know I want to say it, but I ain't gonna say it. Amen, amen. Thank you, because I man, I just need him to go ahead and follow the page. Amen. <laughs> that ain't enough, man. I ain't gonna say it. But uh, you can follow me everywhere at Chevelle Cruz, C H E V E L L E C R U Z. No tie, no sure, tie. <laughs> make sure you check out the station. In the studio, live hip hop daily. Also, make sure you follow these urban times. Check me out at El Dorado 2452. Check out Hip Hop's 1987. We'll be back next Thursday. Bigger and better as always. Be blessed. Peace and blessings. See you then. Jalen George.